Hi, uh, hello, and welcome to another guitar channel. Lava guitar channel is a channel for all those guitarists who cannot play the guitar, but they love to turn the noobs. Turn the noobs. Uh, we get another small effect from the company called Movil from uh, Democratic Republic of China. And actually, as you can see, there is three noobs. And there is something from the Greek mythology as well. So you may assume that this effect is some kind of clone center. Of course, it's not exactly like clone center, but of course as well it doesn't cost three or five thousand pounds. <laughs> uh, this is something which is for the beginners and it's, it will give you some kind of the impression what those kinds of effects, so light overdrives boosters uh, are making and actually what they're doing and how you can use them and that's how I see this effect so if you begin in your journey with the guitar effects and you don't want to spend lots of money on on the effects if you if you start in this journey actually uh, at the end of it you will be spending lots of money <laughs> if you stay on this path but actually when when you are just at the beginning of the of the of the Puff, you know, into the effects. Those kinds of effects can make a job for you and actually they can, uh, you know, give you some kind of satisfaction and they can give you some kind of impression and uh, the way and and they will show you the way as well, you know, where to go and what to what to look for without spending lots of money. This effect, I think it costs something around, I don't know, like 30 euros, maybe 40 euros, something like that. So it's not, it's not the cheapest on the market, but it's not the most expensive as well. And within this price, is, it does the job. It has some advantages and disadvantages. And actually, I will tell you about this in a minute. First, listen to this effect, how it sounds on my Marshall TSL-60 on the clean channel so I'm using it as the overdrive rather than the booster so talking about using it as the overdrive rather than the booster I'm turning the drive knob a little bit more and the level stays on the same on the same uh, the level stays on the volume stays on the same level it's called level here that's why uh, as if the effect is off so i don't want the the level boost coming out of it it's just making the amplifier be driven but the drive comes from this effect so check it out
Combination, this effect is very, very nice sounding and I like it. And if you are into bluesy music, blues music, pop music, rock music, but you need some kind of slight distortions and you don't want only to play on high gain, this effect can make you smile, can, can make you be, you know, like smiling and, and can, can make a job for you and actually it may satisfy you with 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 the sounds coming out of it and actually it is a little bit like a cranked up amplifier it is a little bit like a slight lightly distorted amplifier as well and actually that's 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 what it's making but concentor and the minotaur 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 here as well is made to boost your amplifier. So by boosting your amplifier, I mean that you put a little bit less of the of the gain or the drive or however you call it. So this effect is not distorting that much and it's not giving you the distorted sound that much. By you use the tone knob and the level knob as the actual uh, as the actual booster so you pump your amplifier with this so and you put a little bit too much into the amplifier and then your amplifier is being distorted a little bit differently and that option is mostly used on the uh, second channel on the crunch channel so you use lower gain but distorted gain from the amplifier and just pump it just boost it boost it with it so at the beginning you will hear how the amplifier sounds on its own and after that you will hear how this effect is pumping it up check it out the first disadvantages the tone knob if you turn it more than one o'clock or the or two o'clock that's absolutely too much I don't know that some people like the the, the, the thing called tre treble boost but actually uh, in my opinion it's too much and it's too too bright and actually it's it's not 
it's not sitting in the frequency of the of how the guitar should sound. If you use a neck pickup, and and then you need some some kind of crispiness uh, with your with your neck pickup, then you can use it. But I believe it more than more than one o'clock on this effect. If it's used as a booster, it's it's too much. And when you got the level up to the top as you should have it because you want it to be to be boosting your your amplifier this effect is generating something which is called white noise so in the background you will hear some some something like that on one on one on one frequency and and that's quite common for this price range with this channel it is still usable and in home uh, environment you know if you play with your friends small in, in the, like in the rehearsal room but you got like beginners uh, band you still can use it and of course when you play in you don't hear it but good in good quality effects doesn't have this this white noise somewhere somewhere there and it still sounds good and this cascading this cascading overdrive it's it's very very nice and actually if, if you got like i said lower gain on the on the amplifier and you use this as a booster it still sounds quite good and actually i was enjoying it the biggest disadvantage you will hear now <laughs> This is the same disadvantage, but because I was using the amplifier in the high gain mode, which maybe I, you know, maybe I made it wrong because I've used it already on high gain, and actually I could take the gain off and and just use a little bit more than on the other channel. But just wanted to, I just wanted to check how how it sounds like that. Uh, it sounds good, but because the amplifier is taking more, is gaining more of of the sounds coming into it, when you turn the level up as it's supposed to be boosted, and then this white noise is starting to be uh, quite annoying. That's what I want to say. Uh, so I would recommend it for someone who is not into playing metal music. And for someone who's not using high gains on the amplifier, I would recommend it for someone who's starting using the effects and wants the good sounding effect for cheap and buying it for cheap, you know that actually you don't get you know the highest quality in the world, but you get good sound and you can learn. I would recommend it for people who want to distort the amplifiers in very light way and if you are playing a little bit more noisy in a good way in this point uh, music and you want to have some kind of crunch from your amplifier pumped a little bit up and you want to change it a little bit i don't know for your solos or for or for the for the reefs and just just to change it just to change it a little bit and then just give it give some some more of 
organic sound to, <laughs> to it, then you can use it as well. So it's not for metal players, it's rather for, for those who play low gains and want some kind of overdrive and wants to start the journey. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video and actually if you like it, I'm very glad that you like it. If you If you want some more there will be some more videos. There will be some more videos of Marvel, of Marvel Company as well. I've got a couple of those those effects, and I want to check them out for you. Thank you very much. Another good channel, Xantip from Poland. Enjoy.